Uh oh. Girl's gonna make a noise. Oh god, my heart's beating so fast. Oh, geez. Folks, we're going back to you, me, and the TV, and she's not the mayor of East Town. She's mayor of East Town. <laughs> yep. What's going on? What happened last week on the mayor of East Town? Or mayor of East Town. She's not the mayor. We saw the new priest ditch the bike of the dead girl. Yeah, the deacon. The deacon. Actually, that was two weeks ago. Mm. Okay. Uh, we saw Kate the is kidnapper. Still alive. She is. Katie is, yes, Katie. the first girl. Second girl dead, third girl kidnapped, kidnapped and thrown, in, and with thrown in with Katie. And I'm pretty sure it's like Mare's cousin, who I think... You think it's the priest, not I the deacon? I think it might be the priest, might be kidnapping the girls. I think it's the deacon. And keeping them in this place away because he's afraid that the deacon is just going to rape all these girls. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's kidnapping them and, and okay. keeping them in hiding so that so, so that his to partner protect can't. Them? So yeah. he has that Dodd's daughter kidnapped for a whole year. That's my guess. That's my guess. Deacon. Is it is that too bold? It's a unique one, right? Yeah. It's a unique guess. Wow, that's yeah. way out of the box. <laughs> it sure is. Don sure went is. to deliver a fake envelope of money to get Katie back, but it was just a was it Freddie? Bethy's Bethy's drug brother. addicted brother. Yeah. yeah. Just trying to scam, scam her scammer. for money. Yeah, and that's about where we are. Yeah. And uh, Do- uh, Mayor found a locket, or like a little necklace that has a date on it. Yeah. We're not sure what that means. Nope. And she's also not supposed to be on the case, but she's still yeah, hoping. she's working with Colin. Yeah, working together. Because his new partner's just sitting in the, Some old dude. Oh, yeah. in the office. So Cool, let's watch. I can't yeah. wait. What's next? I don't know. Should we find out? Yeah. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Mayor of Easttown. It's so good. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos. Well, comment, access to polls, subscribe to our snacks. Links down there. Check it out. Let's watch Mayor of Easttown. Here we go. Uh-oh. I've done an accident. Don't know. Just a random person causing a blackout? Maybe. Uh, yeah, they're, on, they're uh, by the sink. The only one works. What about candles? Um, yeah. I think we got a few. My turtle! What? I left him on the floor. Okay, oh, Christ, God. he's probably shitting all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know where he's going. It's dark. It's our secret, right? Only us. Mm-hmm. The fuck? Uh, that's an awkward conversation over here. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, he doesn't like blood. This is the one that doesn't like blood. Who, who is it? Looks like some old person. She did. Oh, it's... Oh, it's the old lady. Betty? Old lady with the, the, the creeper in the backyard, yeah. right? I'm at the scene of the accident on Panel Road. Victim's ID is Betty Carroll. No pulse. Did she get electrocuted? No. Just like trauma. How are you? I feel like I don't ask you that enough these days. She's got a new girlfriend. I met someone. You met someone? Mm-hmm. Someone new. Because I'm pretty sure he knows about your recently... Broken up with girlfriend, right? Possibly. Playing at his engagement party. What day is it, Kev? Today is Saturday. Let's jump in together. One, two, Two, three. 
Three. That's the therapy she needs. Kevin was a pretty normal little kid, you know? Funny, silly, active. This mood disorder, is there a history of that in your family outside of Kevin? Well, you're pretty moody. Yeah, she's pretty normal. Pretty <laughs> pretty normal for a woman, huh? Yeah. <laughs> she's just cold. Any periods of depression? Um Yeah. Y'all get the blues sometime. How did your father cope with it? Well, he shot himself. Oh, boy. Two family members, huh? Yeah. Oof. How did it make you feel? Like I wasn't enough for him. That's why she wanted to replace him mm -hmm. by being the detective. Huh? What? Suicide, mental illness. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Does it worry you that he might? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, it terrifies her. I'm terrified. Maybe it skips a generation. What? Maybe it skips a generation. Exactly, Mom. Mrs. Carroll was going to have a heart attack with or without the Cheerios. Not necessarily. I mean, what if she saw a deer or a raccoon in the road and, you know, it spooked her enough that her heart exploded? I thought Cheerios were heart healthy. Huh? Che yeah, they are oats. So they say, anyways. Binds to the cholesterol. So they say. Oh, pass the damn ball. Come on, pass it. She's got a lot on her mind after that conversation yeah. she was trapped in. Crowley, and she just took the head position of media studies at Cal Berkeley last year. Cal Berkeley. Like in California. Yeah, babe. <laughs> in California. <laughs> I already submitted my applications. Yeah, but just talk to her. And if you don't like what she has to say. Is she going to Cal Berkeley? Or she just wants her to apply there? Don't know. Wonderful. She's gonna have a ball. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh. All right, time for bed. Let's he starts time. walking around ass first, you know, it's time for bed. <laughs> That's how he knows it's time for you to get to bed. Me? You start walking around with your ass up, <laughs> jumping around backwards. Why we took care of her. Aaron even lived with Billy for a little while. When did she live with you, Bill? Oh, uh, <clears throat> God, that was like, uh... Three years ago, at least. Ew! Well, her mother just died, and now Kenny was drinking a lot, I think. He and diddled her. A long time ago. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta get going. He's acting weird. Now he's having that fundraiser for his daughter at the Duffers. The mayor's. <laughs> Spidey sense is like, what's going on? He just opened a beer, now he's running out. I think she wants to take his DNA off that beer bottle. Your parents want to keep him? Well, how do you feel about that? Like, having to see him every day now that you know? I don't know. It's fucking weird, you know? Yeah, smoke a joint. That'll make you feel less weird. Just keep thinking I'm going to wake up and it'll be like a bad dream. Turns out there are regrets, huh? So you don't punch people. You just need someone besides your parents to- I got other friends. Break it off with her? I hope so. They're not good for each other. And I was probably out here smoking. You weren't out here smoking either. Dylan, I walked around the whole house and you weren't anywhere. Where'd you go, Dylan? Uh oh. Back to the top of the suspect list. Get the fuck out of here. Did he go see Aaron? No, he wouldn't. Their text messages were... Didn't he give up his text messages? I don't know. Hillary, she took care of me when I was going through withdrawal. 
Where'd she go? She got pregnant. Ooh. Oh, dang. Friday's his poker night. Whenever someone comes over, he'll tie us up so we keep quiet. Poker night? Who is it? That's a tall guy. Alright. Let's flannel. Wasn't that cousin wearing flannel? Hmm. Who have we seen playing poker? There she is. I got you a coffee. I guess I just gotta sit back and let it happen, huh? Gentlemen, I visit once a week and tickle their balls. <laughs> hey, pays the rent. Now, let's respect. Shh. Are you a cartoonist down there? No, there's just this uh, prowler. <laughs> Look like a ferret. Oh, I hit him. It's rude. Look at her walk back. Look at her walk back. Look at her over there. Oh my god. Why would you ever be mean to somebody with Down syndrome? They're like the most kind <laughs> and loving human beings on the planet. Yeah. Doesn't but make any sense. Brother's not liking that. I can't leave him on. Punch that kid in the face. Yeah. You want to tell me what happened? That kid totally fucking deserved that. Yeah. That's what's wrong with school these days. If you're an asshole, somebody's going to kick your ass and you're going to deserve it. Nobody should be punished for that. He's sticking up for his sister. It's called chivalry. Exactly. He should get a medal. I saw you in the room with him the other night. Was he asking you to keep a secret from me? Is he doing it again? Right. Doing. Doing it again. Molesting him. <laughs> you should not ever ask your kids to keep a secret. No. Is it with the same woman as before? Oh, just cheating. The son found out about it. Must have, yeah. You think there's a part of Mr. Carroll that's relieved? I'm just saying. Jesus, Mayor. She seemed to drive him nuts all the time. You're allowed to say that when the person's alive. After they die, everyone's a saint. <laughs> <laughs> Betty, she was, uh, she was a nice lady. Everybody. Hello, everyone. Listen up. Jeez. But there's something else I'd like to say, and I got to get it off my chest. I had an affair with Helen Fahey. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Listen, affair's a strong word, very strong. It happened twice. <laughs> That's what she's like. You gotta be nice. I mean, what kind of smack the ass makes an announcement like that? His wife's funeral reception, anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's a little weird. He had a lot of guilt from it. Yeah, but you don't spew your guilt among the whole community at your wife's funeral. Who's she going on a date with? It's Saturday night, right? I don't know. I hope Colin. He's at the door. Mom. Oh. Oh, in that case, you look great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Colin. Let's go. Let's go. Bye. It's like you clean up nice. Uh, Hauser and I interviewed three people and messaged Aaron yesterday. And? All had alibis. Solid alibis? Yeah. Report's supposed to be in on Monday. Can we please talk about something else? Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> Talk about work first thing. It's a date, right? 
Okay. Yeah, it is. You know, always have a rag nearby when, when you wash his hair. You know, because he'll scream that his eyes are burning, you know, even though we use tear-free shampoo. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why are you helping me? It's purely selfish, dear. I'm afraid you'll get custody and you'll cut all of us out of his life. And I can't bear to lose another one. Yeah. She's lost her husband and her grandbaby. I was eyeballing that Tortellini special myself. Oh, yeah? Sounded good, but I, uh, I chickened out at the last minute because of the zucchini. Oh, can't even taste it. See that? Should have gone with it. You can't ever taste the zucchini. Just takes on whatever flavor you, you have mm, it with. It's a sponge. I was watching this, uh, food show, and this, uh, guy was eating food, and he, uh, <laughs> abalone I just and thought of something. Salt and I just thought of something. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What? <laughs> he, want, he wants to take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> she, um, she had a story similar to Missy and Katie's. Drug habit led the I thought prostitution. thought we were going to talk about something else other than the case tonight. Yeah, 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 we did. We just spent the last half hour talking about how you had a stutter as a kid. Anyway. <laughs> I'm showing you all of my cards, and you are showing me Fucking none. Grow of up, yours. Sable. I'm trying to help you out here. Help me, or help yourself. You yeah, haven't told me about the necklace. She's on track though with Hillary, though. Katie was just talking about her. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Mayor. I'm just throw it off. <laughs> Give him a fucking tortellini. It'll make it feel better. She said. Mayor's only going out with you because you want to stay close to the case. This is the part where you tell me she was wrong. Not wrong. She was right. Good night. Well, at least she got full rain on the tortellini. Yeah. It's a little bad for calling now. Kicking him out. Yep. I'm gonna fix it. I promise. Never ask your kids to keep a secret. Yeah. I'm just surprised that Turtle's still alive. Me too. I'm impressed, actually. His therapy seems to be. I mean, she's actually participating. Yeah. It's great news. I think her watching that video helped. Yeah. Her open up a little bit. She called yesterday asking about a necklace. What would you tell her? Nothing. Just like you said. Okay. Here. I'm going by. What's going on? So was Dylan involved? Dylan and the best friend? It's weird that she's hanging out with Dylan. Oh, they're, they're going to find the journals because she told her the wrong hiding spot, right? Yeah. Hey, where are they? That's why she was keeping the secret because she wasn't just keeping Aaron's secret. It was Dylan's secret, too. Right. I don't think Aaron and Katie are connected at all. Deacon Mark. Hey, come on. You said we weren't going to read them. So they weren't there for the journals? Just there to get the money? No, they were there and for the everything? journals. They were there for the journals, too. Hey! This oh, fucking pop. guy again. Is it Freddy? It's just going in. Uh, uh, uh. 
Just an old guy going for a walk. She was like, stay away from that priest. Apparently, he raped some 14 year old girl. Thanks, What the fuck? Yeah, that's messed up. Wow. He's about to get his ass kicked. Oh, jeez. She's reading them. Yeah. What are you reading them for? Bring it over here. What did she find out? What is their deal? What is going on with these kids? He's got the mench. Some nights he wanders out after I've fallen asleep. And he, what kind of idiot thinks that he might be the murderer? Well, he's doing creepy things in the middle of the night. She had a bit of an overreaction, but. What'd I tell you about staying away, Mayor? I forget. Don't play that shit with me. She's just trying to protect and serve. Got carried away. Hope the old guy's okay, though. Yeah. Or a hip or something. I know. She threw him down pretty hard. What? Are you all right? What, what, what happened? D just leave me alone. Okay. No, please. Just let me see. Uh, leave! Go! Please. Just... He needs to be shipped to, like, a different country. <laughs> if he's going to outrun this negative press I was with Aaron the night she was killed with her oh boy wow that's what I figured I don't think he did anything to her though I think she ran away from him why didn't you tell them all this because of this history I have a previous accusation yeah it's a bad look bad look so she got a text from Dylan and went to the park and Dylan killed her? Maybe. Did you... What? Kill her? If I said no, would you believe me? At this point in the conversation, probably. Yeah. Well, you think it's a very good idea for you to be going out with her then? <laughs> to go out again? How do you know I like her? I, I see the way you look at her. And because I know you better than anyone. She, she's your mom. Yeah. My whole life's been about being careful, Mom. Look how far that's gotten me. What are they up to? Don't know. The mom stare. And um, I got in, and he parked over by the stadium. I went to get into the back seat. Do you remember anything about the vehicle? Anything specific? Um, it was a van. What kind of van? Um, PA plate? Yeah. That's a big lead. Bearded guy. Is it the is it Kenny's cousin? Uh, my guy's running the plates. Two hours tops. Okay. It's gonna break it open? God, I hope so. You don't have anything to be sorry for, Mayor. Just being honest about how you feel. I just can't do all of that. All of what? What you want. How do you know what I want? Take a bite of your tortellini? <laughs> some fucking drunk ex-cop gonna make some extra cash. Calls me out of the blue one day. Says he wants to compare notes. Thinks he's got something. Neighbor gave an alibi that didn't check out. He caught it. I missed it. Makes you feel any better? I hid drugs on my grandson's mother. That's why they put me on leave. She finally confessed. Holy shit. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Doing something great is overrated. Because people expect that from you all the time. What they don't realize is you're just as screwed up as they are. So just, just do your job the best you can. That's what I was trying to say. Let's go knock on some doors. <laughs> what was 
that for? How do you know what I want? <laughs> Just wanted to kiss you. Maybe you just want to solve crimes with her? So, am I in some sort of trouble or something? No, you're not in any trouble, Mr. Potts. We just need to get some details from you. Details about what? Might be easier if we step inside. It'll just take a few minutes. Flannel, ladder on top. <sighs> it's bingo, him. Bingo. Winston's. That's the guy. She doesn't have her gun. Uh oh. Girls can make a noise. What's wrong? People are here, and he didn't chain us up, which means he wasn't expecting them. You still haven't told me what this is about. Oh, God, my heart's beating so fast. Oh, jeez. thought she was going to recognize Mary's voice. Oh, God. What's the camera for? My uncle installed them. Just keep an eye on the cash register and whatnot. Is Mayor distracting him because she's on a gun? Colin's dead. I hit him right in the head. She is shot in the wrist? Yeah. She doesn't have a weapon or anything. Oh, God. Colin, he got hit in the head? Did he get shot right in the head? It looked like it. Oh, shit. Oh god, she's fucked. Can you text 911? She's probably texting her chief, right? Perhaps. Well, it said 911. Oh, you can probably text 911 too, though. Back stairwell. Colin's dead. Oh. Shit. Oh, now she's like, oh, he knows where I'm at. She went jump, jump through, through the, the floorboards. The floor and get Colin's gun. She get down and get it. Ooh. Hit him again. Shit, 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 shit. Get Colin's gun. Oh boy. How do you explain that to your chief? She was helping the detective. Not supposed to be there. I don't think they're going to care if they find the two girls. She solved the case. Just lost Colin. Honestly, the chief's going to feel guilty because he suspended her and she didn't have her gun to help support him. That's why Colin's dead. Yay. 
But at least he got his kiss. Oh, they get his head blown off. That was great. Ugh. Shit. Well, he daddy hero. Yeah, I found the girls. Man. Not not even somebody that we've seen before. No. Now. Total that, stranger. That's just Katie. That means the, Aaron's completely unrelated. Yeah. And with what Dylan and... Looks like Dylan killed her, right? Right. It seems like it. Makes me think, like, Deacon went to pick her up. She got a text message from Dylan. And she went to meet Dylan at the park, mm -hmm. and then Dylan shot her. But wouldn't that have been on her phone? There would have been a record of that on her phone. It was her friend who texted her? For Dylan? I don't mm -hmm. know. It's mm -hmm. just weird that her friend is helping Dylan cover something. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's odd. Unless they were having a fling together or something yeah. and didn't want her to find out. Mm -hmm. Yuck. Ugh. Oh, that was a good episode. It sucks Colin's dead. Oh, my, so my stomach hurts. So long, Evan Peters. I know. He was really good, too. I, I think love he Evan won an Peter. Emmy for this. Did he? Yeah. Deserving. He was only in great. four episodes. Two, three, four, five. Because hmm. we didn't see him. Evan Peters episode. is great in everything that yeah, he does. He's just a great actor. He's just fantastic. Yeah. Man. What's next, though? We still got two episodes to figure out what happened to Aaron. Mm hmm Right? Mm hmm And then Mare's wounded. Looks like she was bleeding out there. Mm, she was definitely in shock, that's for sure. Yeah. Gotta find out what happened to Aaron. Celebrate Dawn getting her daughter back. Mm hmm mm hmm And memorialize Colin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yikes. Just looking back over this episode and everything that was happening in Colin's life, like his mom, the way she looked at Mare taking him away, it's kind of like a final, final look, right? Yeah. So. Like she knew that she was going to be bad news for yeah. her son. And then he confided in Mare about he didn't really solve the case. Right. Mare confided in him about what she did to screw up so yep we just watched it thanks for just, the recap i'm just saying it's like all <laughs> it's just great writing that they're wrapping up a character and you don't even notice it yeah right mm -hmm. thought that was just looking back on it was, man it sucks though yeah i wish they could have just taken them down together colin takes them down and i thought mara was going to get shot well she did get shot but i thought she was going to take the brent because she was, like, stepping to his side to yeah. separate them. So he wasn't looking, and she was, like, aggressing against him. But then I think she yelled at Colin to pull. He went after him first. Yeah. Ugh. That sucks. Sucks really bad. Well, any other thoughts from you? No, my stomach hurts. Yeah. What should people comment on after this episode? Shit. Did you see that one coming? Yeah. Were you expecting Colin to go out like that? Dang. So suddenly? Yeah. Jeez. Thanks so much for hanging out. Come back next week for another episode of Mirror East Town. Yeah. Check our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos. If you want to come here, access to both of us. watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.